If you have spent any time sculpting, you know that a lot of time is spent smoothing away unwanted details. Because when you are sculpting in ZBrush, there will be a lot of details that you might not want to be too harsh or too hard or too, you can say, uh, visible. So you smooth it out. So the smooth brush are commonly used that there is a hot cut, especially for going into smooth mode. So ZBrush give us a specific hot cut, uh, like a hot key for that brush. And we can uh, use that uh, hot key anytime when we want to switch from a normal drawing mode to a smooth mode. So let me make uh, this, uh, let me zoom in. Okay, and let me make this brush a little bigger. Now, if I will press shift key, shift is the hot key to bring or activate the smooth brush. As soon as I will press shift key, you can see that it will become blue. That means I am in the soft mode. And also you will see the intensity has changed. Now this intensity is not for the brush side. This is for the smooth brush side. So if I will uh, leave my shift key uh, and then you can see it will go back to the normal mode. All, this, all these settings here. Okay, now here if I will press shift key and start uh, drawing over, you, you will see that here uh, holding down shift key and you can see all the details are melting away. So I am just removing all these details over here and now you can see compared this side and this side, this have smoother uh, surface and this does not have smoother surface, this has more detailed surface. Okay. So this is uh, how you can smooth up. I can keep on painting over in order to bring more and more smoothness to it. Okay. So now you can easily uh, compare this side to this side. Okay. So this is how the smooth tool actually works just by pressing the shift key. And if you wanted to change the intensity, so press shift key and then you can just go here and change the intensity over here. Okay, or just press U on, on your keyboard and then you get the intensity over here for that. Okay, so uh, there are a couple of variations on smooth brush that you might want to be aware of. So let's uh, hit B and S and you will see there are these uh, smooth brushes over here. This is a smooth clothes brush. This is basically when you're creating dynamic clothes inside the ZBrush 2021 because 2021 gives you a dynamic option where you can make clothes dynamically just like you have a, um, like a Mo Cloth or uh, you can say uh, Marvelous Designer. Then you have here uh, smooth peaks and smooth valleys. So this is where we are going to work right now. So basically smooth peaks, let's get the smooth peak over here and it says over here that whenever we switch to a different smooth brush, uh, Zebra just wants to remind us that the brush is going to be used with the shift key. So that's okay. Can You can skip this note until the next time that we start because we already know that uh, this is happening. So it doesn't harm. So it will just uh, press that button. So smooth pe uh, peaks is interesting. It's going to operate on parts of the model that sticks out convexly. Uh, and what are those part, uh, parts? Suppose this chin, okay? So if we uh, hold down the shift key and try to smooth the underside of the chin, like suppose here, okay? So uh, this is a concave surface, not a convex surface. Convex surface is something that is sticking out and concave is which is digging in, okay? So if I will try to uh, smooth this one, so you will notice that the part that I'm smoothing here is getting smoother, but this part is not getting smoother. So as much as I'm trying to do this, you can see that as this uh, concave part, it's not smoothing up. Whereas the part that is sticking out, like the one which, has, which was on the top and on the bottom, that got melted away. And especially chin, if I will do it, you can see that how it is getting smoother. So uh, 
the one that we were using here was the smooth peaks and what does the smooth peak do is that it smoothens or it melts away the details of the convex surface and it will work on the chin it will work on the other area that is sticking out but the one that are sticking digging in just like this part which is concave part nothing will happen over here i'm trying to do uh, here but it's not working at all okay so this is how uh the smooth peaks will work so if we had b we can say that there is also a smooth valley s b s so smooth valley here is opposite of the sm or smooth peaks it will uh, smooth the concave areas but it will not uh, smooth out the convex areas however we can just hold down if we are using smooth peaks we can still use this brush how we can still use this brush we can uh, let me zoom or uh, undo this whole thing we can still uh, use this brush how by pressing shift and alt on our keyboard so this will just notice over here so this is a smooth peaks so if i will press a shift and alt and you will notice that this is now converted into it will not show here but it is now converted into a smooth valley now if i will try to smooth up this area which is concave area so you will see this is getting smoother whatever is the concave area like here but the one that are sticking out like the chin or this part it's not getting uh, smooth uh, it's not smoothing out but the concave area are now smoothing out okay so now if i will leave my shift key and only press uh, like sorry if i will leave my alt key and if only i will press the shift key and try to smooth you will notice that it is now smoothing up all the convex area okay so let's do that again pressing shift key and alt key will move my smooth tool from smooth peaks to smooth valleys and this will only smooth out the concave area something like here or here so if i will try here you can see that it got smooth enough and then this one is smoothing out but it's not working on b okay but if i'm using my smooth tool without the alt key only with the shift key so i'm in the smooth peaks which will smooth out the con uh, convex area the areas that are sticking out so you can see that let me undo this whole thing so that we can start fresh to the other brush okay let me make a little angle over here now there is one other brush that i use all the time and that is not in the standard brush so if i will go here you will not find it here so how to find this brush is we have to bring up the light box okay and then we will go to the brushes uh, let's search where are the here's the brushes and once we will move to the brushes, let's find the smooth brush folder and here it is double click on it and here we will see a brush which is known as smooth stronger smooth strong, stronger is basically a tool which is specially useful on really dense models model with a lot of details so what i find is that this brush is really uh, just bumps up the strength of the effect really really so far so that you're really smoothing things out intensely so if i will take this brush there are a couple of more other brushes you can check these all okay but the one that i use are the most commonly used one so i will double click here so now i'm in that mode so if i will press shift key so you can see i'm the smooth stronger and if i will start smoothing just see the intensity of it really quickly it smooths up okay so this is a very strong intense tool when it comes to smoothing up things and it's highly used for very high detailed object where you have uh, a lot of subdivisions and where you have a lot of um, you can say detail sometimes if you really a dense model the regular smooth brush won't affect very much on it so it's like seems like you are just brushing and brushing and not really some uh, much is happening so if you switch to smooth stronger you will get a much stronger effect so for those purposes i usually use this smooth uh, stronger uh, especially when you have here you are on the high uh, subdivision like suppose if i will go to uh, subdivision 4 i can still easily smooth this on like you can see that it is smoothing and if i will 
increase the size of it with more so it will be more intense and you can see that it is clearly quickly was you know smoothing in but if i will undo this one okay and choose my normal uh, smooth brush here okay and try to do that so you can see that i'm trying but nothing much is happening okay uh, uh, like it's not that stronger as the strong brush tool so uh, if you just want to switch back to the regular uh, smooth brush tool you just have to press b s and m and you will get your uh, if i press shift key on my keyboard the normal uh, brush tool so okay that's pretty much all there uh, is it to it so now you're ready to smooth away any unwanted details so this is how you can work with the smooth brush tool and all different kind of smooth brush tool so thanks for liking my videos thanks for subscribing to my channel so please keep on subscribing to my channel and i will highly appreciate if you will watch my videos online and don't download my videos because i will not get the uh, watch time hours which will demotivate usually it demotivates me uh time to time if i find like people uh, like uh, users are downloading my videos instead of watching it online so uh just uh give a shout out uh to my channel on different social media so i can get more and more subscriber it will motivate me so i can create more and more uh videos content for you all so thanks a lot for support and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to my channel yet and also click on the bell icon so take care guys we'll meet in the next lesson